Jesse Hedge and Maria Sanchez. So plenty of offensive firepower for the top offensive side in the WCC. 34 goals in 15 games for the Broncos here in 2018. And here is a look at the West Coast Conference standings. We mentioned in the open that four teams control their destinies for a shot at the WCC Championship and the all-important automatic berth to the NCAA Tournament. BYU, Gonzaga, Portland, and Santa Clara. So two of them on the pitch against each other tonight. And Tim Ward's Pepperdine Waves also very much in the thick of things in the top half of the WCC here in 2018. Portland in the purple with white and black attacking right to left in the first 45. And Santa Clara in the white with the red attacking left to right. Portland kicks us off and we are underway. Historic rivalry matchup between these two teams. This is the 38th all-time meeting. Santa Clara leads the all-time series. 19 wins, 15 losses, three draws. We've kind of seen it swing back and forth over the years. Well, the Broncos have won four consecutive matchups in this series, and as we mentioned, both of these teams, three and one in West Coast Conference play. So it's a historic conference rivalry, big implications in this game as well, a lot to like about this matchup here tonight. Broncos on the move here, and a nice defensive play, good 1v1 defending that time from Portland's Olivia Deniger. Broncos were bearing down on goal, had a good head of steam moving forward, but Deniger up to task to make the tackle. Here's Sophia Jones for Santa Clara, slipping one through. Nice pass to get the move started. This is Skylar Smith, having a great freshman season. Plays in Maddie Gonzalez. Gonzalez on to her left, and it's blocked away. She hit the turf and sent out of the box. Portland able to recover and slow that one down. Big moment early in the match here. A nice job by the Pilots to keep it out of goal. Broncos keeping the attacking move on here. And that one will get out for a goal kick. A bit flurry around the net. Nice job to play Gonzalez in. Her shot actually beat the goalkeeper, Rachel Lusby, and it was blocked off of a Portland defender. So great effort that time by the Pilots throwing numbers in front of goal. And having the shot attempt from Gonzalez blocked. Great pass from Skylar Smith. And Maddie Gonzalez, great move to get onto her left foot. Portland ultimately able to win that battle. One chipped over the top, too much on it for Gonzalez. Pilots trying to control it here in the midfield. And they will. This is Natalie Muth. Muth trying to make the run forward. Gets it by Marika Gway. Still keeping on it here on a 50-50 ball. Good hustle. Keeps it with Portland. The offside flag is up. Taryn Reese was through for the Pilots, but in an offside position when that one was played. 13 goals, six match winners for Reese on the season. I'm talking with Bronco head coach Jerry Smith about what makes Reese such a tough matchup. He said, she's simply a finisher. Player who doesn't need a lot of chances to score. And he said, those types of players are worth their weight in gold because oftentimes they can be the difference, say, if you're not having a tremendous match, but you get a great finisher, a couple opportunities to score, and she's able to come through for you. Speaking of great finishers, Kelsey Turnbow for the Broncos. Left-footed shot from Turnbow and a diving save by Lusby. Turnbow getting onto her left foot that time. Not too much behind the shot then, but always good to get an early look. And her ability to sustain runs, a difference maker for this Bronco team. On the far side for Portland, Lucy Davidson chips it to the midfield, but the Broncos win it back. And Portland dispossessing Santa Clara on the tackle that time. Deniger played it forward. Up into the midfield. Nice pass to try and open the Broncos up. Larkin Russell takes a return pass here. Pokes it outside. Eden White hustling after it for Santa Clara. And just shields off the Portland player. Now for a Bronco throw in. Broncos ranked seventh in the country. Ranked as high as fourth in the NCAA this year. 
12-2-1 overall, 8-0 at home, 3-1 in West Coast Conference action. And this Bronco team has won five of its last six. Going back to a couple of wins over Big West teams in Cal Poly and Santa Barbara. At the back end of non-conference play in late September. In WCC action, Broncos 3-2 wins over San Francisco and LMU fell 1-0 at Pepperdine. And then got on top of St. Mary's early last time out on its way to a 4-1 win. Portland controls it on the far side here. Keeping possession well, this is Muth. Lifts the pass through, good turn that time from Reese. She's taken to ground, and the Pilots will have a free kick. Couple of yards outside the box. Nice body positioning that time from Reese. And I tried to just nudge her defender out of the way. Ultimately led to the foul, and this will set up a good early opportunity here for Portland. Broncos had one just moments from the start of the match from Maddie Gonzalez. Well, the Pilots were able to defend away. Three Portland players converging here, deciding what they want to do with this free kick. Larkin Russell and Natalie Muth. Now standing over the ball, looking to figure this one out here. Host of players to the left side of the 18-yard box, or left side of your screen in the 18. This one served up onto the ground into some traffic, but the Broncos win it back, and that one just sent away from trouble. Clearance that time from Sophia Jones. Portland had played it into a gang of Santa Clara players. And that position was surprised not to see one just crossed into the far post. Pretty good opportunity, especially from that close outside the 18-yard box. Ellie Walker, sophomore from Vancouver, Washington, with a long dart throw to get the Pilots a little more breathing room and up the pitch, was working with Kimberly Hazlitt that time. Walker will get set to take it again. Another long throw forward, header away by Santa Clara. Chipped over her shoulder by Kelsey Turnbow. Ball knocked back and forth, possession changing hands a few times. And that one gets out for a Santa Clara throw in. For Portland in conference play this year, 4-1 winners at San Diego fell 3-0 at BYU, who's currently on top of the WCC with four wins and a loss. Defeated St. Mary's 3-0 and down Pacific 4-1. This is a team that's had a healthy amount of time off. Their last game, the 4-1 win over Pacific 12 days ago. And it's a Bronco team coming in that's only played once in the last 12 days. So both teams pretty well rested and as fresh as you can be, especially as it relates to injuries and players banged up, as fresh as you can hope to be at this time of year. Edge for Turnbo, defended by Walker. Pilots applying some good pressure here. Nice move from Sophia Jones. She'll leave it on back for Alex Loetta. Loetta up into the midfield, Marika Guay. Back for Jones, good find that time from Hedge. Finding the pass to open things up against that high press. Guay once again. Very patient buildup for the Broncos here. Here's Julie Doyle for Santa Clara. Doyle dancing inside and out. A nice 1v1 defending, couple of pilots in the area that time. Lucy Davidson, Hannah Armanderas, and Kendra Steele. Converging on Doyle, who will be our halftime guest for this match here today. Not in the starting lineup, but took the place of Eden White. Doyle, a player who can do a lot of things for this Broncos team offensively. Here's head coach Jerry Smith on one of his star forwards. Julie is hard to stop because she's a student of the game. 
So um, she works really hard in her preparation. Uh, she can certainly beat you by dribbling. She can beat you by passing. She can beat you with her off the ball movement. This is a, such an underrated part of, of our sport. Julie Doyle's movement without the ball causes all kinds of problems. She's such a fluid player. She reads things really well. She knows how to get in the seam. She knows how to drag defenders around and create space for her teammates. Well, missed the first five games of this season and a healthy chunk of conference play last season with an ACL injury. And has made her way back into action for the Broncos. Two goals and an assist this year. Portland on the move, through pass, and the offside flag is up again. Trying to go right through the middle of the Bronco defense and see if they can find a run that'll split those center backs. They've done that a couple of times now. That time they were looking to pick out the junior native of Hillsborough, Oregon, Rachel Kaw. Talked about Taryn Reese and the impressive numbers that she's put up this season. 13 goals for the Pilots here in 2018. It's more goals already than Portland had as a team last season. Scored 11 for the 2017 campaign. This is Reese. Sliding challenge, stepping in that time was Sophia Jones. She commits the foul. And Portland will have another free kick opportunity here. Here's Russell. Standing over at Portland, pretty spread out. Got a couple options to her left. And now Russell's going to head off the ball, and it'll be Lucy Davidson set to take. Drives one in, edge of the box, skips through a couple of players, and ends up out with Walker. Russell once again. Brings it on back, Kendra Steele. Long pass forward, offside flag stays down, and that one defended out and sent out into touch by Kelsey Hedge. Walker will start us up with the throw here. Two teams that have been in good goal scoring form in the last little go of it. Broncos with 10 goals in their last four matches. Portland with 11, including seven in the last two. Elsewhere for the Pilots offensively, Kimberly Hazlitt, five goals, four assists for 14 points on the season. Six other players including, or not including Reese, have scored for the team as well this year. So eight different goal scores. Broncos trying to find a way through this Portland pressure here. Portland wins it back here against Jones. Slip through. Here's Reese. Against a crowd of Broncos and Santa Clara is able to win it back. Now the Broncos will look to build on the counter. Gonzalez trying to play Turnbo forward. A good positioning and a good move that time from Ellie Walker. Entertaining first part of this contest between these two teams. Few chances, few looks from either side as they try and feel each other out here. Edge stepping in here for Santa Clara. Let's play just to drag the ball against the pressure of Russell. But Portland turns it over in the midfield. Or turns them over, I should say, in winning possession back. Sliding challenge that time from Guay. And the Pilots looking for a little breathing room. They'll send it out right. Here's Russell. Chips it on back. Walker gives it away to Santa Clara's Michaela George. Broncos trying to work through the lines here. Send it. Skyler Smith leaves it on. Here's Doyle with hesitation. Lays it up to Maddie Gonzalez trying to control. Just a little bit out of her stretch. But Turnbow is there to keep the Broncos on the front foot. Cross is on from Turnbow. 
Falls down into the box. Here's Doyle. Right-footed efforts blocked away. And Portland clears it well away from danger. As Loetta for Santa Clara, you can see the hustle from Reese. Active on that front line, trying to keep pressure on the Santa Clara center backs. Long ball headed on by Portland. Flicked out, and that'll end up as a Bronco corner. While we have a moment, let's remind you that Portland versus Santa Clara is an exclusive presentation of the W.TV on Stadium. For more live West Coast Conference broadcasts, features, and information, go to WatchStadium.com and the W.TV. David Gentili with you here from our broadcast location. Joe Plata's upstairs running the camera for you tonight. Turnbow will take the corner. Headed out by Steele. Most challenge on that far side, and the Pilots will want to throw in here. 25 goals for, 12 against for Portland here in 2018. And they've conceded only three of those 12 in the first half of action this year. Mentioned that the Pilots come in as the top defensive team in the WCC, pitched seven shutouts, seven shutouts and 10 victories this year. Cross is on for the Broncos, landing down into the box, headed away from trouble. And booted all the way back to Santa Clara's Melissa Louder. Louder, one of two Bronco team captains this year, along with Alex Loetta, who's on the ball here. Jones for Doyle. And forward for Audrey Hager. Trying to get it on through for Skylar Smith, and Rachel Lusby is there for the take. Caught up with the pilot head coach. Michelle French yesterday asked her, who are some players that make your team go that really stand out to you? And she said, well, for us, it really starts with Lusby and Net provided great senior leadership for this group, composure in the net. And she's come up big in games, both to keep the pilots alive and help them see off some of these wins. Bottom line is if you're pitching seven shutouts in 15 matches, you're getting something good out of your goalkeeper. It's a .8 goals against average on the season to go along with 52 saves. Kelsey Hedge flicks one on. It'll get through once again taken here by Lusby. Early look at the stats. Three shots for the Broncos, two on target tonight. Portland has yet to put a shot on the Bronco net. They've had some good moves forward and had... A couple of free kicks in some good spots. Not able to find a ball on goal as of yet. Smith in the Bronco midfield. Back for Loetta. One deflected off of a Portland foot. It'll get back here to Steele. Up into the midfield for Muth. And up here to Russell. Short for Taryn Reese. Six match winning goals for Reese, tied for second in the NCAA. Russell tried to play one in. Broncos able to cut it off. Send it on out for Turnbow, showing the speed and the acceleration. Turnbow sends it out wide. Here's Doyle. Makes her way into the 18 yard box. Attempted cross on with the right, but Portland 2v1 defending that time. Closing down the space well. Now with numbers forward and possession back. It's Doyle again for Santa Clara. Sends it through. A couple of Broncos there, Smith and Michaela George. But Portland's got the answer once again. Now they'll play it forward. This is Reese. 2v1 against Loetta and Jones. Sliding challenge that time from Alex Loetta. An aggressive play from Reese and very good control to start that Bronco counterattack. But Portland takes it back in the midfield here. Nice through pass with the outside of the foot. Reese is in on goal and Louder's out to stop the move for the Broncos. Melissa Louder coming off her line and making a great play.
play for Santa Clara. Off of an outstanding through pass from Portland. I mean, the pilots were running forward and they were essentially two versus five in that situation. So great job on that through pass to find the avenue forward. Uh, with the ability that Reese has as a finisher, that is a huge win for the Broncos. Well, anytime you stop a player who's in on net, that's a huge win. But when you put it in the context of someone who slots him away as well as Reese does, big stop given who the Broncos were up against there. E.B. Pridham into the match for Santa Clara. Now an opportunity for Portland. Pilots on the move here. All the way into the box. John across the face of goal, and it's just wide. Last touched by Santa Clara. It was Kimberly Hazlitt on the ball, running with Taryn Reese. And the Pilots getting some runouts, getting some good opportunities here in the last few minutes. That was a tough angle for the shot. A man, Hazlitt, came close to it that time. So now a corner here for Portland. Pilots with the run of play right now. They've looked good in the last five minutes. Larkin Russell will set up to take it here. Russell's cross is on, and it never got into the field to play, and out for a Santa Clara goal kick. And the Broncos will bring in a substitution here with Maria Sanchez. Well, the W.TV is the West Coast Conference's home for exclusive live broadcasts, on-demand content, and championship coverage all free of charge. That includes all Broncos soccer home matches as well as road matches within conference play. Catch all the action on your smartphone, tablet, computer, or connected TV. W.TV, all the action, anytime, anywhere. Broncos and Portland here. On a nice night from the Mission Campus. Nice night here in the South Bay. Continue to have some good weather throughout the fall, and it makes for great playing conditions out there. Broncos take the throw in quickly. D.B. Pridham gets it to Maria Sanchez, who's outstanding with the left foot. Four goals, nine assists, played in 12 of 15. Was away on CONCACAF duty with the Mexican women's national team, so missed a couple of matches, including the Broncos' 1-0 loss at Pepperdine. Snapped an eight-match unbeaten streak. Broncos play it back here for Turnbow, who took the corner a moment ago. Turnbow trying to serve one up for Sanchez and blocked away. Good defending that time from Natalie Muth. And it'll end up as a throw-in for Santa Clara. One thing that Portland is doing really well in this first half tonight, getting in the way of things, whether it's stopping the supply when Santa Clara tries to put on a cross or blocking shots. D.B. Pridham rolled it back for Hedge. Now on for Turnbo. Left footed shot from Turnbo, diving save, and it's out for a corner kick. Great save that time from Lusby. Turnbo, who's an outstanding finisher from either side. Just from outside the box, and D.B. Pridham was there, but couldn't quite get a foot on it. Portland quick to the clearance that time. And one of the best chances for Santa Clara, both on Turnbow shot and on the resulting rebound then. Left footed corner from Sanchez, swinging in. Right into the six, a header up from Portland. Back down here for Hedge. Kelsey Hedge with the right, blocked again. Here's Doyle. Now out for Turnbow. Broncos sustaining the attack here. Ross from Turnbow. Controlled in the box by Pridham, and D.B. Pridham puts it away with the left. It's 1-0 Broncos. Santa Clara kept after the Portland box. Turnbow starts it with the cross. Pridham, great touch to control it with the left about knee high. Brought it down, spun around, got a great hit to it. 
Nothing Rachel Lusby could do that time. And Santa Clara leads it 1-0 here in the 24th minute. D.B. Pridham with her second goal of the season. Coming off the bench to score here for Santa Clara. Kelsey Turnbow picks up assist number five. Assisted on the play by number 10, Kelsey Turnbow. So Pridham from Turnbow in the 24th minute. And the Broncos strike first here. Santa Clara team that scored here 15 of, uh, played 16 games on the season, including tonight. Only been shut out twice on the year. So that was one of the big things coming in. One of the top offensive teams against the top defensive teams. And Santa Clara's offense, the first to break through here tonight. This one played on back on a couple of hops. Lesby controls it nicely here. She had the big save just moments ago on an effort from Turnbow before Santa Clara scored. There's Turnbow again. Looking for some space, finds Michaela George. All kinds of speed, great service, great 1v1 defender, a lot of attributes to like about George. Plays one into the box. Kelsey Hedge back on it here. Looking to send it on out for George. And Broncos enjoying a nice spell of possession after the goal. Loetta was left on through that time by Gway for Doyle. But just got too far forward then. Here's the Bronco goal scorer, Pridham. That time just lost her footing. Trying to make the move. Portland takes it back with Kimberly Hazlitt. Good stretch then with Muth. Let's keep it alive for the Pilots. Plays it on out for Lucy Davidson. Physical play on the far side and a foul committed by Portland and Russell leading to a Santa Clara free kick. So both these teams, 4-1 winners their last time out. Broncos on Sunday against St. Mary's. Jumped out to an early lead. Kelsey Turnbow scored within two minutes of the start of the match. Julie Doyle got a goal in the eighth. And then Kelsey Hedge. Been on a bit of a goal scoring bender since the Broncos started West Coast Conference action. Added two more. She's got five goals in four WCC matches this year. Talking with Jerry Smith about Kelsey Hedge. He said she's been... Been getting forward more consistently for the team. This one's played out for a Portland corner. And she covers so much ground for the Broncos that Hedge getting forward more frequently, able to get more chances and ultimately finish them. Also had a nice touch on a free kick in Santa Clara's conference opener at San Francisco back on September 30th. Portland setting up for the corner here. Larkin Russell will get ready to take it. All but one of the outfield players somewhere around that 18-yard box. So a lot of numbers forward here for the Pilots. Trying to crowd the Bronco area. See that pack of four of them off to the bottom left side of your screen. Cross is on here. Punched by Louder. Sent away by Hedge. Another cross, and that one will miss the mark. Get up into the stands and out for a Santa Clara goal kick. We are talking about Kelsey Hedge. To put it in context, five goals for Hedge. Including tonight in her last five matches as a Bronco. So five in the last four in WCC play. She'd only scored two goals for the Broncos prior to that. In her Santa Clara career, transferred from Washington last season. Started 20 matches for the Broncos. And played in 15 this year. So the goal scoring pace for Hedge. 
much improved as of late. Cross comes on to the back post. Maria Sanchez trying to chase it down and keeps it alive. Watched here by Davidson. Portland able to win it back. Davidson trying to find an avenue out. They can start a move forward for the Pilots. Long one played forward, ushered out of play by Alex Loetta for a Bronco throw in. Plays it back to her line mate, Sophia Jones. Back here for Loetta. Those two have been pretty solid in the center back spot for Santa Clara, both former midfielders, and you can see it with how they dribble and distribute. Portland's got good numbers on the right side here. Move for the Pilots. Crosses on, heading far post. Falls down here into the box, and the referee is pointing to the spot. Portland's going to have a penalty kick. Pilots are going to have an opportunity to tie it up here. They've scored three penalties on the season, and if you've been paying attention, you'll know who scored them. Taryn Reese. 13 goals, all three attempts from the spot, and she's converted all of them. So it was a bump on a cross to the far post that'll set up a penalty chance. Jorge Luna Hernandez is our head referee today. You can see him standing there in front of Santa Clara's Melissa Louder. Broncos, by the way, have not faced a penalty this season. This is the first one they've given up all year. 30th minute of action. The WCC's leading goal scorer, Taryn Reese. Fans getting into it here. Here we go. And Taryn Reese doing what she's been doing all year, puts it away. 14 goals on the season, still perfect. Four for four from the spot. And Portland knots it up at one. Got another look at the play that led to the penalty. It was a cross that was coming in far post. And it was, I believe, Michaela George for Santa Clara. Who just bumped the pilot player who was running on in. And that time just got some contact and ran through Hazlitt. So that's what led to the penalty. And Portland able to convert on the opportunity and knot it up at one. Talked about the history in this series. Broncos have won four straight. They won four to one at Portland last year. Prior to that, it was three straight one nil victories for Santa Clara. Had a seven goals for, one goal against ratio in the last four matchups in this series. So Portland finding the breakthrough on a move forward and the penalty from Reese. She had a hat trick last time out for the Pilots. Scored in the 11th, 25th, 56 minutes. Against Pacific a couple Sundays back. Hannah Armendariz also put one in in the 66th. Elsie Turnbow taken down. That could be a yellow card. Broncos will have a free kick here. Jorge Luna Hernandez is calling over Natalie Muth. Looks like more of a conversation, so based on that, I don't think we'll see a card here. Usually the referee might stop and take that opportunity to say, okay, no more of that. But if they're going to issue the card, there's not usually much of a talking to before you see the card come out. Free kick off the foul. Broncos dancing. Maria Sanchez, a little start-stop action. Trying to stutter things a little bit. Falls down into the box, miss hit clearance that time from Portland. Chance still on, but Muth clears it away from danger. And here's Melissa Louder all the way out by the circle to play it for Santa Clara. 
Played forward, Broncos looking for Pridham. But Olivia Deniger got the header to it. And here's Turnbow. Around the corner. A good recovery defending by Portland. Now crosses on from George. Header heading goalward. And right into the waiting arms of Rachel Lusby. These two teams met up three times in the NC2A tournament. We talked about that national title match down in Austin, Texas back in 2002. Portland won it 2-1 in double OT. First meeting was in 1993 up at Stanford, a 2-0 win for the Pilots. And then the Broncos, a year after that title match, won a 0-0 contest on PK's 4-2. Third round of the 2003 tournament. Portland with two national titles. 02 and 05. Santa Clara with one in 2001. So that's part of what makes this a, a really good rivalry. You, you like to see that there have been some back and forth swings. You like to see that you know, the overall numbers are pretty even between these two teams. Broncos with 19 wins. Portland with 15. A couple of draws there as well. But when you have two programs that are at the height of a level of any given sport and you put them in the same conference, that's really what makes Portland and Santa Clara special. Some outstanding runs and some really powerhouse groups for these two teams, late 90s and early 2000s. Is Michaela George for Santa Clara. Trying to work her way to two defenders. Portland wins it back. Hazlitt. Plays it forward for Reese. Reese 1v1 against Sophia Jones. Trying to gain some ground here. A lot of Broncos in the area. Reese keeping the move going and she'll win a corner. That's a great individual effort by Taryn Reese. There wasn't a lot doing there in terms of other numbers. She certainly didn't have a lot of options short to play the ball to. But got that run all the way just to the outside part of the 18-yard box and then knocks it off of Santa Clara to win a corner. Mark and Russell to take. Two pilots on the end line. Six other players around the edge of the 18-yard box to claim your prize and congratulations to our winners. Ross is on, header by Santa Clara. Maria Sanchez got to it. Still a lot of pilots in the box. See if they try and turn and play one in here. There's a blast from distance on one hop and a save for Melissa Louder. A San Diego native, one of the Bronco captains this year along with Loetta. Great shot stopper for the Santa Clara team. And just has that competitive edge about her where Louder does some tremendous things in big matches for this team. On the evidence matches, look at any time Santa Clara has played Stanford over the last couple of years. Portland gives it away here. Maria Sanchez on the move for the Broncos. Sanchez. Slips it out right, shots on, and that one's just over the bar and out for a goal kick. Soccer fans, do you want a great game day atmosphere at affordable prices? Then come on out to Stevens Stadium and Buckshaw Field and be a part of the excitement. That is Santa Clara soccer. Get your tickets right now by going to santaclarabroncos.com slash tickets. You can also call the ticket office, 408 554 4660 from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Chad, Jesse, and Jack are waiting and ready to help you get the ball rolling on your next Bronco experience. We got an exciting match on our hands tonight. If you're in the area, come on out. Catch the second half of this one. It's been good so far. Portland and Santa Clara knotted up at one. Broncos got a goal in the 24th minute from D.B. Pridham on the great left-footed effort. 
And then a little less than six minutes later, Kimberly Hazlitt drew a foul on the box and Taryn Reese extended her WCC lead with 14 goals on the season. Slipped on through too much on that one for Doyle. Mentioned that Reese is tied for second in the NCAA in game winning goals. Everybody in that department looking up to Boise State's Ramey Shirley. One of the top goal scoring threats in all of NC2A women's soccer. You get a chance to catch the Broncos on the Mountain West Network this season. Do it and watch Shirley play. You'll be glad you did. Chance here for Portland. Nope, that one blown dead. Brought back before the shot. Offside against the Pilots that time. Natalie Muth was in a good position, though. Looking around the West Coast Conference, RPIs. Santa Clara at eighth. Tough schedule for the Broncos. And they managed it really well this year. Played three teams ranked in the top eight. Lost one in Texas A&M. Defeated number two North Carolina here at home back in early September. And got a 1-1 draw on the road at number one Stanford. Wins over San Jose State, Cal, North Texas, Kansas State, UNC, Notre Dame, TCU, Cal Poly, and UCSB in non-conference, and then San Francisco, Loyola, Marymount, and St. Mary's. But based on how things are playing out, and based on what Santa Clara and BYU have done this year, Broncos head to BYU in the back end of conference action. That's going to be a huge match in deciding how things shake down in the West Coast Conference. You'd expect both of those teams to still be in the mix for a conference championship. So definitely one to keep your eye on in the near future. Broncos will be back at home in two days against Gonzaga on Sunday afternoon. Portland staying here in the Bay Area to go on the road and take on San Francisco up on the hilltop. Pridham, Santa Clara's goal scorer in the midfield, leaving it back out for Sanchez. And now for Marika Guay. 39th minute of action here. A lot of big moments in this first half. Good short passing to build it up from Santa Clara. Turnbo using speed to create space. The cross from Turnbo. Across the face of goal, hunted down by Julie Doyle. Broncos will stay on it here. Doyle gets it back. Santa Clara with several options in the box. Doyle out off of Portland for a Santa Clara corner. Pepperdine at 51 in the RPI, BYU at 54. Chance to improve upon some of those numbers based on how they finish out non-conference play. So you're looking at Waves and Cougars sides right now that need to do a little bit more to kind of get themselves in the conversation for the NC2A tournament. USF at 69, Portland at 86. Rest of the West Coast Conference, sub 150 in the RPI here in 2018. Header by Hedge, and right at Rachel Lusby. Kelsey Hedge in a good position that time for Santa Clara. Lusby able to make the save. Ten shots, six on target for Santa Clara. Five saves for Portland's Rachel Lusby. Three shots, three on target for Portland. Two saves for Melissa Louder. An exciting first half of action between these two sides thus far. Portland works it up to the midfield. 
Uh, sends it on back to the back line. Doyle trying to step forward. Good play to win it back. This is Turnbow. Just buying time against the Portland defenders. Sends it out wide. First time crosses on top of the box. Doyle trying to control it. Santa Clara will stay on it here. Here's Maria Sanchez. Cross from Sanchez. Dealt with by Olivia Deniger, who's been on the other end of a lot of those crosses. Kept busy tonight and done her job well for the pilots in this one. Portland stepping in that time with Jones trying to play a pass forward. Time Mark and Russell ran out of room. Hager lifts one. Down for Maria Sanchez. Sanchez is shot and a save. Big time save from Rachel Lusby. Keeps the score line level. Really good chance for Santa Clara's Maria Sanchez. Just enough on that lofted through pass. to get it up and over and play Sanchez in. And Lesby able to make the save. Another big one for Lesby. You know if you play this Santa Clara team this season, odds are as a goalkeeper, you're gonna be facing a lot of shots. Lesby has done well to manage that. Senior from Beaverton, Oregon. Doing well in the first half here tonight. Portland's gonna get ready to make a substitution. We'll bring on the junior, Sydney Warren. Couple of minutes out from halftime, we'll have top play Tuesday, looking back at the best of the West Coast Conference. Including a soccer-esque play from one of Santa Clara's non-soccer teams. We'll also have our halftime interview with Santa Clara's Julie Doyle. That's all coming up on the Santa Clara Broncos halftime show. Less than two minutes away here. Rachel Carr through pass. Looking for Warren who just came off the bench. Played back to Louder from Loetta. Louder deals with it. Now headed back down in the midfield. Turnbow. For Hager, laying it on for Hedge, and the Broncos will switch the point here. Kind of horizontal passing, opening up the defense. Sanchez scoots it out wide. There's Julie Doyle. Tried to send it across, blocked away, and out for a Santa Clara corner kick. So Turnbow and Sanchez will head on out to decide what Santa Clara wants to do here. Got Turnbow who would hit it with the right for an in-swinging ball. Sanchez would strike it with the left for an out-swinger. Lifted into the box, Hedge elevating and bounces. And out for a Portland goal kick. One more quick substitution here for the Pilots. Wouldn't expect to see anything drastic from either of these sides going into halftime as Emily Collier, freshman, comes into the match. 15, Emily Collier into the match. For now it's been a fun first half. Couple of goals, just six minutes apart. D.B. Pridham for the Broncos. 10, 9, 8, 7. In the 23rd six, minute five, of action. There's a blast from range. That is the last action of the half. And Portland getting the equalizer from Taryn Rees. So that is our score at halftime. West Coast Conference battle between seventh ranked Santa Clara and Portland. And we are all knotted up at one goal apiece. Well, let's jump right into it here with halftime. We'll give you a look at the best of the West Coast Conference from last week. In top play Tuesday, take a break, come back with our interview with Santa Clara's sophomore forward, Julie Doyle. We're all square at the half here on the W.TV. 
of SCU Athletics, www.SantaClaraBroncos.com. Here's a look at the first half stats. You can see the shot totals. Santa Clara out shooting Portland by nine overall. Four more shots on goal than the Pilots. Both teams getting to the end line pretty well and setting up some opportunities off of corners. Broncos got the opening goal in the 24th minute off the left foot of D.B. Pridham. Second goal of the season for Pridham on an assist by Kelsey Turnbow. And then just shy of the hour mark, Taryn Rees extending her WCC lead with her 14th goal of the year overall and remaining perfect in the penalty department at four for four from the spot. We talked a lot in the first half and leading up to this game about the rivalry, but to hear it straight from one of the coaches, what does Jerry Smith think when he thinks Santa Clara versus Portland? You know, we won the national championship in 2001, and then we played Portland in the 2002 national championship, and they beat us in double overtime. And anytime you can play a team from your own conference in the national championship, that's the highest possible standard. I remember going to a game at Portland when we were ranked one and two in the country, and people walking around with, I need ticket signs because they couldn't get into the stadium. And that's awesome. They have a new coach, Michelle French, former player, uh, was a great player. Um, is doing a great job in coaching. She's brought some a renewed energy um, to the program, and um, their team is playing well. Now, Coach Smith and Coach French go back quite a ways. In fact, Jerry Smith recruited Michelle French to play here in Santa Clara. She had an outstanding career, chose Portland, and had an outstanding career with the Pilots. Three college cups, three West Coast Conference championships, in four seasons, coming back to the bluff for her first season here in 2018 as a head coach after extensive time with the U.S. women's national team. She was an assistant coach for the senior team before taking the job here with Portland. 2013 to 2017, coached the U-20 squad. Coach Smith also coached her with the Olympic Development Program and said they had interacted a lot when Coach French was working for the U.S. Women's National Team, talking about potential Santa Clara players either currently on the roster or Bronco recruits to represent the U.S. internationally. So they go back a long ways. And well, to put it specifically with what he said when I sat down with him, he said she's a very good coach and she's one of my favorite people. Great passion for the game. Was a great player, has a great personality. And he said, I think the world of her as a coach. And Coach French had some good things to say about Coach Smith as well. It's always cool to see when you get that very public respect. And more and more, I think just in women's soccer in general, you, you see that a lot between a lot of coaches when you ask them about their counterparts. Always having some good things to say. This one heading toward the end line. Last off is Santa Clara and out for a Portland goal kick. Coach French said, well, you know, I see him a lot on the recruiting trails. And then with the laugh said, I think he probably still thinks of me as young Frenchie from the Olympic Development Program. And she'd also cross path with Brandy Chastain, the wife of Coach Smith, former Santa Clara player. One of the most decorated, well-known women's soccer players in history. Another thing Coach French said about Coach Smith was, even though I've never worked for him as a coach, there's been a lot to look up to there and a lot to learn from what Jerry Smith does with his Bronco teams. Portland on the move here with Larkin Russell. Now this is Madison Carter working against Santa Clara. Andre Hager, good 1v1 defending, wins a throw in. So we showed you the first half statistics. Broncos with a healthy edge and shots on goal, but now we saw good end to end action between these two teams. And when Santa Clara's got an opponent outmatched, as we've seen often enough this season, 
and said they possess the ball so well that the other team has trouble getting forward. That was not at all the case for Portland in the first half. Pilots got a decent number of chances, including a couple of breakaways. Broncos with a healthy set of offensive chances as well. This one slipped on through here. Sanchez hooked it with the left and sent on out for a Santa Clara throw in. That's a strong foot. And Sanchez just pulling that one. Now here's a cross. Must be saw it in the air. Now we'll watch it go and it'll get out for a Portland goal kick. Portland versus Santa Clara is an exclusive presentation of the W.TV on Stadium. For more live West Coast Conference broadcast features and information, go to WatchStadium.com and the W.TV. David Gentili with you on the call. Joe Plot is our camera operator tonight. We saw a good first half of action. We would expect to see more of the same here in the second 45. By the way, the percussion you're hearing tonight from the far side, you can see it on the top right part of your screen. The Villa Drum Squad, the famed Villa Drum Squad from Portland. Traveling with the men's and women's soccer teams. Never seen them when the men's team was here not too long ago. Not this season, but in yesteryear. It's really cool. To see that kind of dedication, that kind of travel, and then just creating that atmosphere. That gives you all the soccer feels, if you will. So I'm booted well out of trouble, and it'll be a throw in here for Santa Clara. I'm you know, talking with Coach French yesterday. She said, well, really this year, the more simple we are, the better we are. Like getting numbers around the ball to effectively move it. A couple of different ways we can get forward, either through passing or just trying to go for direct service. There's a through pass. Madison Carter sends one goal word, and Louder smothers it. And play by Melissa Louder to stop that effort from Rachel Kaw. Now Sanchez taken down. Big challenge that time. With Natalie Muth stepping in, you'll remember that Muth had the foul back in the first half and got a talking to from Jorge Luna Hernandez. Ball back in play here with Kelsey Turnbow. Now here's Maria Sanchez. Sanchez around one defender. Trying to play it to the top of the box. Strike from distance from Turnbow's out for a goal kick. So goal kick here for Santa Clara and a Portland player down on the pitch here. But she's able to get back up under her own power, walking a little bit gingerly here. That is Kendra Steele. Sophomore from Bellingham, Washington. So Portland will get us set up with a goal kick. 51st minute of action between the Pilots and the Broncos. One headed down in the midfield by Loetta. Sliding challenge from Hager. And a header forward from Marika Guay. Now here's Hazlitt. Working around a couple Bronco defenders. Just ran out of room that time. All kinds of players sprinting forward from the back line to kind of get in on the scrum here. Hazlitt. Plays it for Muth. On well, that time, Muth had turned around Rachel Kaw. And here's Turnbo for Santa Clara. Now Smith lifts the pass through, well placed. Trying to get it to Maria Sanchez. And Sanchez moving forward with the cross. Maddie Gonzalez too far under it. Couldn't get on top of that with the headed effort. And it's out for a Portland goal kick. Well, if you see or you have seen something outstanding from the Broncos or the Pilots in this match, use Twitter. Nominated for the WCC's Top Plays of the Week. Tweet a description of the play with the hashtag Top Play Tuesday. And your submission might just make the difference. 
when the West Coast Conference picks the top five plays from this week's action. Tonight and all season long, hashtag Top Play Tuesday. Got to look at Santa Clara Volleyball. On it at halftime of this match. Broncos setter Lily Light with a soccer-esque play and a kick. Portland on the move here. It's Hazlitt. Trying to slip one through. Pilot still on possession. Here's a left-footed shot, and that one finds its way in. Off the hands of Melissa Louder and through for the go-ahead goal for Portland. Louder had stretched out, and I thought she got enough of that one to push it on out of the way. But that was not the case. Having to go full stretch with a diving effort and Portland's got the goal to go ahead two to one. Reese tied it up with a penalty in the 30th minute. And now Portland going on top here, taking the lead on the road in the 53rd. 2 1 Pilots. Broncos. Play it to the outside for Sanchez. Ross is on from Sanchez, and Lesby is there. Taking it inside the six-yard box. It's Ellie Walker from Kimberly Hazlitt. The Pilots goal for number 22, Ellie Walker. Her first goal of the season. First goal of the season for the sophomore the Walker. Six, and for Hazlitt, now five assists on the year. Larkin Russell leads the, the team the with eight helpers minute. here in 2018. Again, a good shot that time from distance. Finding its way to the back of the net, giving Portland the edge here. Here's Marika Guay for Santa Clara. Guay swimming around a couple of pilot players. Leaving it on back here for Hedge. And just slipping it through. Maddie Gonzalez getting there. Gonzalez now charging toward the top of the 18. Sets it up for Guay. Plenty of space here on the right side for Santa Clara. Michaela George. Cut down that time. Sent out for a Bronco throw. She's got such a quick first step, does Michaela George. Can be hard to keep pace with her, but Muth. Good sliding tackle to play it out for a Santa Clara throw. Here's Turnbow for Santa Clara. Being watched by Hazlitt, Turnbow will play it on back. Alex Loetta has all kinds of room. Uses some speed to get forward. Loetta now charging in. And the 18 crosses on here and dealt with by Portland. Sent out for a Bronco corner. Ellie Walker doing the defending that time for the pilot. She has the goal on the one end and stops the goal scoring threat for the moment on the other end. Nice round of applause for tonight's ball kids, members of the Mount Hamilton Pantera. Here's Turnbow. Gonzalez, Broncos have stayed on the ball well after conceding here. This one controlled by Loetta. Able to make the turn. Finding Sanchez, who plays it out wide for Turnbow. Turnbow feints across. Now serves one up with the left. And a header is over the bar. And out for a goal kick. Great shot on the goal by Walker. It started off on what looked like a really good run for Portland with Hazlitt working with Reese. Broncos had defended it for a moment, but Reese got there, dropped it back. Just outside of the circle at the top of the 18, it was a first time left footed hit. And Louder got a pretty good piece of it, but just not enough to keep it out.
Here's Kelsey Hedge for Santa Clara. Over here for George. And hits out off the foot of George. Nice defending that time by Madison Carter, really closing down space well then. Portland able to work this one away from trouble. Broncos continuing to load up numbers and send numbers forward. Gonzalez gets on the other end of it. Has to chop a short one back. Was looking for Skylar Smith that time, and Portland plays it all the way forward. And Loetta will get there for the Broncos. And Santa Clara advancing, but Portland holding its ground well. The one thing you know about the Pilots, a team that's been tough to score on this year. Broncos with a break, left-footed shot, a hopper, and stopped away by Rachel Lusby. Good power to the strike. That hop always adds a tricky element for goalkeepers, but ultimately that one goes right at Lusby. And she knew she had a little bit of space in front of her. And she didn't have to corral that one completely, just knock it down and go out and get it. I was talking about Portland being a strong defensive side. Kind of team that's got that really good balance of goal scoring threats up top. But then solid team defending that can make them very difficult to come back on when they get a lead. Most recent goal from Walker. First of the season, second of her career. And now a yellow card will be issued here. The lead that one issued to Natalie Moose. She's been at the center of a couple of big challenges today. So that is much about the accumulation of fouls as anything else. That is, if Muth is the one to go into the book here, we'll get confirmation of that in a moment. They'll set up a free kick for Santa Clara. Sanchez and Turnbo. Sanchez plays it short. Turnbo trying to leave it on for Gonzalez. Basically the entire pilot outfield team around the 18-yard box to where that one was played. So not too many avenues to get through, but the Bronco will stay on possession here. The yellow card is shown to Muth in the 59th minute. And Santa Clara will get ready to make a couple of substitutions here. D.B. Pridham, who's got the Bronco goal in this match back in the 24th minute. Pridham, the junior from nearby Saratoga. And the freshman Kylie Halverson also into the match from not so nearby, Hawaii Kai, Hawaii. And a Portland player is down on the pitch here in the meantime. So both teams will get a chance to head over to their respective benches while she is being tended to. Well, Julie Doyle has been the player that we've spotlighted tonight. You heard from her at halftime. You heard head coach Jerry Smith talk about her offensive abilities, but part of what makes Doyle a really solid player for this team is what she does with her defensive abilities. She worked very hard at the defensive side of the game, which a lot of attacking players don't do. In our last film session from our St. Mary's game, we used Julie as an example of a game that was 3-0 at the time, a forward, who was killing herself to do her defensive job in a game that probably was already in hand, but she cares about doing her job well. Defending is part of everybody's job, even if you're a forward. Um, so Julie brings so much to our program, and it's uh, nice to have her back out there for us, for sure. So there you go, Coach Smith on Julie Doyle. So if you take a look at the Broncos' stats this year, and you say who have been the impactful players in terms of goal getting and point getting and assist getting and what have you. 
Don't overlook Doyle with two goals and an assist. She had an outstanding freshman campaign cut short by a torn ACL. Back and is having a big impact with his team here. And now for Portland, that is Madison Carter, freshman out of Boise, Idaho. And was able to get up. She was down on the pitch for a couple of minutes. Walking off under her own power, always a good thing to see. So it was the result of that last play, a Santa Clara throw-in. So Loetta with it here, laying it forward for Kelsey Hedge. Now back for Loetta. Ruth trying to clear it a couple times and then just steps out in front of Maria Sanchez and knocks it out. Audrey Haggard back here for Sanchez. Dancing inside and out to create a little bit of space. Pass behind E.B. Pritiman out for a Santa Clara throwing. Broncos quick to take it. It's back for Gway. Now the cross is on here. Halverson trying to get there. Now Portland looking to go right at the Santa Clara midfield to clear it away. This is Sophia Jones forward for Maddie Gonzalez. Chipped up into the pilot midfield. And finally get it out and get a little bit of breathing room and get some numbers forward. That time you could see Hannah Armanderas not wasting any time for Portland was running right at Santa Clara's Alex Loetta. So the pilots continuing to keep the pace up and continuing to keep the pressure on here against Santa Clara. Being proactive and assertive and aggressive with the lead. All into the box here for Santa Clara when Bronco goes to ground. I think that was Pridham on the run forward, but it'll end up out for a Portland goal kick. Ellie Winkleman gets set to come back into the match. And that kind of assertiveness and aggression was something that Michelle French highlighted when we chatted yesterday. She said, one thing I wanted to come in and do with this team in my first season is get this group more aggressive, more on the front foot on both sides of the ball, attacking and defending. And really have, to put it in her words, and I like these words, a killer attacking mentality. She said the goal scoring was missing from a season ago, wanted to get the confidence back up with this group. As I mentioned before, one of the things she said was simplicity. Trying to keep everything very simple and straightforward for this team. You got wins in two of every three matches. Everything they're doing up here in Portland is adding up to a very solid debut season for one of the great pilots, Michelle French. Edge trying to play it for Halverson was just behind her. Edge in a good position to stop the clearance then. Now here's Sanchez. Poked away from the box. Gets as far as Taryn Rees. She'll chip it a little bit more away from danger. Broncos really possessing the ball heavily in the last 5-10 minutes of this match. Good step in that time from Walker. His goal currently the difference here in this one for Portland. And I think part of the Broncos being able to retain more of that possession is that, but yes, we've seen Portland keep the pressure on when the Pilots are looking at Santa Clara and the Broncos have the ball in the back line. 
but they're also sagging back a little bit. Looks like they're playing five on the back line as of right now. They play stepping in that time for Muth, nice and easy. Sliding challenge, Broncos really trying to get after it here. Working hard, looking to create chances. Aleta stepping in for the Broncos. Trying to slip it to Sanchez. And with Portland keeping a lot of numbers behind the ball. Fine with Santa Clara getting forward against essentially the entire team and trying to break through. And you can see just, it's nice. Maradona move that time from Kelsey Hedge. A little 360 for the Broncos. Cross is on here. That one will get wide and out for a goal kick. But what's working really well for Portland is actually just what we had talked about working well early in the match. Getting in the way of shots and potential crosses. And you're going to be able to do a lot more of that if you keep your shape a little more compact. Talking with Michelle French about areas of improvement, she said, we want to work on our collective defending more of a pack shape. And this is a really good opportunity to do that for this team. With the lead on the road against a very solid attacking side in Santa Clara. Here's Sanchez. Sanchez with the cross and headed away. Out for a Santa Clara corner kick. Maria Sanchez will take it. Services there again, headed down and watched out for a Portland Pilot goal kick. Well, the Bronco Athletic Fund was created to provide all Santa Clara student athletes with the resources necessary to compete for championships and succeed in the classroom. To make a donation and learn how your contribution impacts Bronco Athletics, visit SantaClaraBroncos.com slash Bronco Athletic Fund. Nice faculty staff recognition event here tonight being well, put on by a handful of Santa Clara staffers. And a lot of professors, folks involved in Santa Clara out. Great to see here tonight. Maddie Gonzalez plays one back and split her two teammates. It was too far behind Halverson, too far in front of D.B. Pridham. But that was a dangerous chance. Broncos play a long one forward, trying to find Gonzalez once again. It ends up with Marika Guay. Guay trying to set up with the left. Guay is taken down. Which way is the free kick going? It's going for Portland. It was on the initial contact from Guay. And she is visibly very frustrated with that. Guay kind of dipped her shoulder on that run. The Portland defender went to ground, but that happened right before Gway was taken to ground. So I think that was part of the frustration there. But in terms of succession of the fouls, yeah, and I got another look at it. I think that was the right call. Here's Loetta. Laying it up into the midfield. Portland trying to bring it down with Larkin Russell. Now here's D.B. Pridham. Broncos will control it, take a breather, switch the point to the far side. And I think Gway was going forward. I think she was on the ball. And I think she like diverted her route from her run just enough. And kind of threw a shoulder into the Portland defender. So I think that last one, that was the right call before she was taken down. There's Gway once again for Pridham. Audrey Haggard here for Santa Clara, plays it forward for Halverson with Walker defending. That one was last out off of Walker, it was. And it's out for a Santa Clara corner kick. 69th minute, Portland Pilots up two to one. Over Santa Clara here on the Broncos home turf. Maria Sanchez to take it. Curling in, 
One header up by Muth, just outside of the six. Still a lot of players in that area, headed back goalward and a diving stop. Rachel Lusby coming through again for the Pilots. Backpedaling, left, stretched, swatted it away. What a save from Lusby. Ushered on out of play that time for a Portland throw on the fall, uh, far side, beg your pardon. And Lesby's made some good saves tonight. And that's something that you have to have. I mentioned the attacking prowess of Santa Clara. You need some great individual efforts. You likely need some great goalkeeping. I think the collective team defending and the goalkeeping has been good tonight in these big moments for Portland. But Santa Clara very much with the run of play, continuing to try and knock at the door, continuing to ask the questions. Sanchez. Ball on the ground from Sanchez. And knocked down by Portland. It's Muth once again. She's been right on time. She's been right on the spot very consistently as of late. And we talked about Portland kind of shifting and looking like the pilots are running five players in the back right now. And Muth kind of in the middle of that, and she'll drift back kind of that last defensive midfielder, but then as the Broncos get closer to goal, kind of step back and join the center backs. So that is the game within the game right now. The Bronco attack against a very stout pile of defense. Santa Clara has found ways to break through, found ways to get chances. But as of yet, not enough to bring this thing back level. 71st minute of action. Buckle up. It's going to be fun for the last 20 minutes of this one. Turnbow back in for Santa Clara for Halverson, Rachel Kaw. Well, Kaw had come on for a moment. And now she will. Looks like Kaw's coming in for Lucy Davidson. Kaw was running onto the field and then ran off for a moment. Now heading back on for Portland. Pilots with two goals tonight. That's one more than they had in the last four matches combined against the Broncos. Here's Hager. Sent out of play by Ellie Winkleman. Here's Sophia Jones for the Broncos. Top of the box, Turbo controlling it. Quay gets it for Santa Clara. See all but one outfield player behind the ball for Portland. Broncos trying to unlock this group of nine. Basically just leaving Rees far forward in the formation. Cross is on here. Down into the 18. Dealt with again by the Pilots. Only as far as Guay. The Broncos will leave it out again. For Sanchez again. And knocked out by Portland for a Bronco throw. Sophia Jones for Santa Clara. Maddie Gonzalez, little swim in and out move for Pridham. Back for Gonzalez, falls down here into the box. Pridham with Hedge now on it, and Kelsey Hedge scores. Kiss the underside of the crossbar and found its way in. And we are all knotted up two to two. Man, what a sequence that time, resulting in a Bronco goal. And Kelsey Hedge is at it again. It's her sixth goal in West Coast Conference play, sixth goal in the last five matches. Santa Clara. Trying to bear down on the gates of this pilot defense and able to find the breakthrough then. Great strike from Kelsey Hedge. Scoring Santa 
Now seven goals on the season for Hedge. That ties her for the team lead. Yeah, so I think that was the idea from Portland. Throw a lot of numbers behind the ball, try and defend the thing out. But Santa Clara able to win that battle. And the Broncos able to win a free kick here. Broncos two, Pilots two. It's been a good one. Both teams have had leads in this match. D.B. Pridham in the 24th for Santa Clara. Taryn Reese on a penalty for the Pilots in the 30th. Larkin Russell. Oh, they changed the previous goal. So it was Larkin Russell who scored for Portland in the 53rd. And then Hedge for the Broncos in the 72nd. On a great strike from Kelsey Hedge. And, you know, oftentimes if you're staring down the barrel of the goal and you've got that many defenders that you have to try and beat. Takes a great individual shot. Or something that no amount of numbers will be able to defend. That's what Kelsey Hedge just uncorked for the Broncos. 74th minute of action. This has had all the makings of a classic rivalry match, the context of ye this year that we mentioned with both teams in the mix, both teams controlling their own destinies for a chance at the West Coast Conference crown. Here's Marika Guay for Santa Clara. Audrey Hager. Controlled here by Pridham. Top of the box, D.B. Pridham has a go. It's over the bar and out for a goal kick. By the way, I had said it was the Villa Drum Squad, the famed Portland Villa Drum Squad in attendance tonight. It's actually the Bronco Pep Band. My mistake, guys. Apologies for that one. They're across the field from where we're at. For some reason, I saw the red in the light as being the Portland Pilot Purple. So it's actually the Bronco Pep Band. Doing well to provide some of that atmosphere here tonight. And a lot of Bronco student athletes in attendance. Of course, you always expect to get bigger crowds from these rivalry matches. And Portland's a, th a team that knows a thing or two about home field advantage, led the nation in attendance every year from 2005 to 2014. Marlow Field's a special spot. Nice play by Hazlitt for Portland. Trying to start the counterattack here. Rees leaves it back for Hazlitt. They've got one player running in the middle by herself. Here's Muth, first time shot is on. And a save from Melissa Louder. Ooh, I think Muth had a lot more space than she gave herself credit for. And Muth is wearing that cast on her right arm. I think you got to try and do something there to extend that run a little bit. She had a lot of space. We've seen for most of the game when Portland's got forward, it's been that combination of Rees and Hazlitt. And that time those two kind of loading up on the right side and then Muth with the trail run. To try and make a play on. Broncos getting the advantage here. Here's Sanchez. Cross is on from Sanchez. Lusby spilled it. Michaela George cleared off the line. Oh, what a play by Portland. Played back into the box here, headed down by the pilots. Olivia Deniger got the goal line clearance. Lusby came out to try and collect the cross. Stretched out, couldn't keep a hold of it. It was free for George who tapped it goalward, but a big defensive play from Deniger. Here's Hedge. Slips it through. Portland had a few players forward. D.B. Pridham finding the run in behind, but couldn't keep her balance then. Now long one forward for the Pilots. Louder forward outside of her box, so left to chase it down for Santa Clara. We'll play it on up.
Through pass up the left side. Good one from Portland to start the attacking move. Here's Hazlitt. This possessed by Santa Clara. It's Hedge. Leaving it for Gonzalez. Nice play that time once again by Deniger to win it back for Portland. Hazlitt sliding challenge. Broncos have it back. That's Gonzalez once again. Edge drifting off to a right for Santa Clara, trying to chip one forward as we get a little moment without some kind of crazy action in this one. With chipped it on, neither team really keeping the ball all too well right now. Sent back across. Broncos moving quickly to the near side for Hager. Santa Clara back on it here with Gway. And now they'll go the other way for Sophia Jones. Jones back for Gway. Takes a lot of work to try and run around and, and defend the pilots or the way the pilots were doing when they had that two to one lead. So now's the time from a Portland perspective Trying to dig deep, see what you can do to find something left in the tank. Try and get forward. And if you're Santa Clara, it's more of the same. As that one gets out, Michaela George will set up for a Bronco throw in. Bronco's already on the front foot. Just continue doing what they're doing from an attacking standpoint. Gonzalez has a shot, and that one will be out wide. Okay, coming up here for the Pilots. Well, the Coaching for Life Academy is a program at Santa Clara designed to make life skills development the number one priority in youth sports. Applications are now being accepted for the Academy's online professional development certification course for coaches. For more information, go to coachingforlifeacademy.org. Maddie Gonzalez running in through a lot of traffic. And nothing doing that time for our head referee, Jorge Luna Hernandez. Gonzalez was trying to go right at the defense. Looks like a little bit of contact. Looks like she went to ground, but we play off. Kimberly Hazlitt working her way through a sliding challenge. Has options in the box. But Santa Clara with too many defenders in the area for her to create some space and make that pass. Ross is on here for Portland. And Louder able to come outside the six for an easy take. Here's Kelsey Hedge for Santa Clara. And by the way, we mentioned that Hedge had scored, and Michaela George picked up an assist on that goal. So for Michaela George, second assist of the season for her on Kelsey Hedges' strike. Eighty-second minute of action, less than ten to go before we hit the ninety-minute mark. There's Loetta. Haggard again for Santa Clara. Broncos building through the left side, trying to find Sanchez. That one sent out for a Bronco throw. There's D.B. Pridham. And the first goal, what seems like a long time ago. Back in the 24th. And sent out by Santa Clara. Pilots will have a throw in here. Pilots will get ready to make a substitution. Jasmine Garibay. Will make her way into the match. Seeing the depth of both of these sides. This is the first we're seeing of Garibay here tonight. 
Junior transfer from Fresno City College, originally from Madera. Goal and an assist on the season, played in all but one of Portland's 15 matches coming into this one. So just a set of, well, you can't get fresher legs and if you haven't played in the match as of yet. Sanchez, crossed on into the ground, dealt with by Portland. Hager collects, Hedge. Signing challenge from Hager, gets it to Sanchez. Got to get around two defenders and out for a Santa Clara throw in here. Sanchez's cross kept in play that time by Rachel Lusby. See what the pilots try and do here, trying to throw it. That should be a handball against Santa Clara. Hopped up on Michaela George, it is, and Portland taking the free kick in stride. Trying to build out the back, keep numbers moving forward here. That one also almost looked like a handball on Taryn Reese. And this one gets on through to Melissa Louder. Pass forward here for Louder. Broncos continuing to sustain possession. Broke down Portland's defense for the equalizing goal from Hedge. Here's Hedge again. Promising looking run here. Hedge slips one through. Maddie Gonzalez is onside and Portland able to block it away. Another big defensive effort for Portland on another big attack for Santa Clara. Great job by the pilots that time. Corner kick coming up. Maria Sanchez. Right at the goalkeeper, Rachel Lusby. These are two teams in just kind of looking at the near future if we don't get a goal in these next five minutes and change. Portland two and one in overtime matches this season. The Broncos have only been to overtime once. Draw at top ranked Stanford back on September 16th. Sanchez taking the ground that time. That'll be a free kick for Santa Clara. Kayla George will get ready to take it. It's a spot where you could try and send a ball to the far post. George right in front of her own bench. Clips one in. Hedge elevating. Muth got a header to it for Portland. Header from Gonzalez. Pilots send it out to a place where they can play it forward. Brought down here by Reese. Loetta. Charge forward, won it back for the Broncos. Too heavy of a touch. And Marika Guay slowing down the clearance. Hangard grabs it. It's a back forward for Santa Clara. And Portland there defensively again with Kendra Steele. Long ball forward. Portland unable to get a clean look to it. And Santa Clara had the ball into the box, but stymied by the pilot defense again. George will set up for the throw. Back for Guay, less than four to go. Played out by Larkin Russell, the goal scorer for the pilots. Put them up two to one. Where the Broncos found the equalizer with Hedge. Cross is on, Hedge is there. Balls down into the box, couple Broncos were there, but that cross too far behind any of them and out for a Portland goal kick. 23 shots for Santa Clara, 11 on frame. Rachel Lusby has been called into action to make nine saves and for Portland, five shots, all of them on target, three saves from Louder here tonight.
Broncos will have a free kick here. And see a lot of the student athletes from Santa Clara standing up and lining up kind of on that front row. Sensing the gravity of these last couple moments where we hit that 90 minute mark and the Broncos find a winner. Long ball into the box, kept toward goal. Hedge trying to get there on a scrum, still loose in the box. And Portland deals with it. And there have been a lot of close moments. And time and again, we've seen Portland able to defend these things out. Here's another corner for Santa Clara. You can hear the rumbling. Fans starting to stomp their feet. In the metal stands here on the near side. Building up the energy ahead of a Bronco corner. Headed down by the Pilots. Broncos stay on possession, chipped back into a crowded area, falls into the box. Pridham will be on it here. Lays it out wide for Haggard, who can serve one up. Still a lot of numbers in the 18 and headed away by Portland. Muth on the spot once again. And George tried to play it forward that time. And too tight to the touch line and ends up on the wrong side of it from Santa Clara's perspective. One minute, one minute to play in the second half. As our public address announcer, Phil Simon. Inside of the 62nd mark. Before we would go to overtime in this one, Sanchez. Good run in to get behind. She is taken down, and the Broncos will have a chance. From the penalty spot, Maria Sanchez, fouled by Steele, got in behind her. And a big opportunity. Now for Santa Clara. There was some initial contact. Steele lost her footing, went to ground, fell into the legs of Sanchez. Now the last time the Broncos had a shot at a penalty, they were down at Pepperdine. It was the first half of the match. Sanchez away on national team duty. Kelsey Hedge took it and it was stopped by Brielle Priest. But when Sanchez is here, she's the player the Broncos want on it. She's two for two this season. The team is two for three. 38 seconds before the 90 minute mark. Maria Sanchez, here we go against Rachel Lusby. Lusby makes the save. Wow, what a play from Lusby. Guessed correctly. No shot at a rebound. And if that scored, that pretty much puts the match on ice. Barring a long run forward from Portland. But man, Rachel Lesby coming through in the clutch again. 10, 9, 8. And we are going to head. To sudden victory overtime. Big moment right at the last of regulation. Broncos winning a penalty kick. Maria Sanchez took it for Santa Clara and Rachel Lusby with her 10th stop of the night. We're going to OT, two 10 minute periods, sudden victory, first team to score wins if we don't get a goal at the end of those two 10 minute periods. And the match will end in a draw. Now let's take a collective moment to catch our breath here. We're gonna go to commercial break, but do not go anywhere. Sudden victory OT is on deck between Santa Clara and Portland on the W.TV.
Welcome back inside Stevens Stadium in Buckshaw Field. Santa Clara had a chance to win it from the penalty spot with less than a minute to go. And Maria Sanchez was denied by Rachel Lusby, who has 10 saves for Portland here tonight. 24 shots for the Broncos, 10 on target, five shots for the Pilots, all of them on frame. 10 saves for Lusby, three saves for Santa Clara's Melissa Louder. Nine corners for the Broncos to three for Portland. And what has been one of the most entertaining matches we've seen here at Stevens Stadium in Buckshaw Field this season. Broncos trying to extend their unbeaten home record, which currently stands at 8-0 to what would be 9-0. Here's what they've done in overtime action this season. A 1-1 draw on the road at number one, Stanford. Back on September 16th up at Kagan Stadium. For the Broncos just one draw in one overtime match. For Portland, a home match against San Jose State on August 24th, won that one one to nil. Lost against Michigan State, one nil back on August 30th in OT. And the most recent overtime contest, the non-conference finale for the Pilots against Seattle, won that one, one to nil at home back on September 23rd. We'll give you another look at the West Coast Conference standings coming into tonight and a big match because both of these teams right now controlling their destinies to have a shot at the West Coast Conference Championship. BYU on top of everybody. It's a point system, you get Three points for a win, one point for a draw. So BYU with 12 points, Pepperdine with 10 on three wins and a draw. Gonzaga, Portland, and Santa Clara all at three and one. So each of those three teams with nine points. So those are the five on the left side of that standings graphic that are vying for the WCC championship and a big test for both of these teams here tonight. So they'll be hoping that they can come out of it and try and continue to keep pace with the pack and control their own destinies in terms of trying to win that West Coast Conference Championship and get the automatic berth to the NCAA Tournament. And boy, the way this one has gone, very exciting match through and through. It's only fitting that it would go to OT. And for the Broncos, part of why this team has been so successful is a long storied history of being great in overtime. And in its last 18 OT matches, zero losses, 10 wins, eight draws for the Broncos in their last 18 overtime matches, zero losses. Broncos will kick us off left to right in the white, Portland in purple, right to left. Two 10-minute periods of OT. If we get a goal, that's it. If we get no goals after another 20 minutes of action, this one will go down as a 2-2 draw. So here we go. First time we've seen the Broncos in OT here at home this season. Won all eight regular season matches here at Stevens Stadium within the allotted 90 minutes. Broncos play it to the near side. Here's Michaela George. Sent on forward that time from Ellie Walker. Walker was initially credited with Portland's go-ahead goal. And upon review, it was changed to Larkin Russell. So Russell picking up her second goal of the season. Broncos got the equalizer from Kelsey Hedge. D.B. Pridham. Back for Hedge, here's Gway. And the flow of that second half played out was Portland getting the go-ahead goal and then trying to pack numbers in and trying to defend the game out. Kelsey Hedge with a brilliant strike in the 72nd minute and just kissed the underside of the crossbar and went in. Leveled things up for the Broncos. Here's Turnbow. Out for Sanchez. Sanchez around a couple of defenders here. Sanchez taking the ground, and the Broncos will have a shot to win it from the penalty spot. 
They had one just moments from the 90 minute mark and it was saved by Lusby. And they'll have another one here. And Sanchez remaining down on the field. Her teammates huddling around her here. Taken to ground that time. And now Sanchez being tended to. She's sitting up and, and stretching things out. And again, keep in mind that Sanchez is Santa Clara's primary penalty taker. As we had mentioned before. So Sanchez getting up. Looks like she will make her way off of the pitch. So who will step up to take it for the Broncos? Mentioned that Hedge had a shot at one against Pepperdine. And it looks like it's going to be Kelsey Turnbow here. Turnbow against Lusby. This one for the match. Is Kelsey Turnbow going to make one last adjustment to the ball? <laughs> Turnbow puts it in, and the Broncos win it in overtime. And Santa Clara. Celebrating with the players on the pitch and then the bench rushing out to celebrate this victory over Portland. One penalty chance denied right before the end of the 90 minute mark. Not that time. And the Broncos are going to go and celebrate it here with the student section and the student athletes. Big moment and a big home win for Santa Clara. Three to two over Portland here tonight. First penalty attempt for Kelsey Turnbow on the season and she converts as it was Maria Sanchez who was taken down in the box. So with that, the Broncos run their home record to nine and zero oh on the season. They're now 13-2-1 on the year overall, four and one in West Coast Conference play, still with the top of the pack for a shot at the WCC crown. Portland is now 10 and six, three and two away from home and three and two in West Coast Conference action here in 2018. DB Pridham with the first goal for the Broncos in the 24th. Taryn Rees, the WCC's leading goal scorer Slotted her 14th of the season away on the penalty in the 30th. Mark and Russell scored in the 53rd for Portland to give the Pilots the lead. Kelsey Hedge for Santa Clara in the 72nd. And Kelsey Turnbow in the 92nd minute on a penalty kick. So the Broncos now 11 wins, 8 draws, no losses. And their last 19 overtime matches coming through in the clutch again. What a contest here tonight between two longtime rivals and two teams having some solid campaigns in 2018. 25 shots for Santa Clara, 13 on target, five shots for Portland, all of them on frame. 10 saves for Rachel Lusby, who had an outstanding match, stopped a penalty kick at the very last. I don't think Portland could have asked for much more out of its senior goalkeeper. Three saves for Melissa Louder in this one here tonight. Well, that will do it for me up here in the broadcast booth. Thank you upstairs to Joe Plata for running the camera. Sports Information Directors Adam Lindman for Portland and Joey Carp for Santa Clara. And the head coaches Michelle French of the Pilots and Jerry Smith of the Broncos taking some time to chat and get us ready for this one. 
Tonight's game has been an exclusive presentation of the W.TV on Stadium. Our final score in overtime, Santa Clara 3, Portland 2. For more live West Coast Conference broadcasts, features, and information, head on over to WatchStadium.com and the W.TV. From all of us here at Santa Clara, I'm David Gentile saying thank you for tuning in. Join us on Sunday afternoon as the Broncos host the Gonzaga Bulldogs at 1 o'clock. For now, it's so long from the Mission Campus.